Welcome to Airscape second generation controls. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on the fan interlock. This is basically a way to, set, to shut down the Airscape whole house fan based on a contact from a smoke detector, perhaps a control system, um, or even an air conditioning unit. So I've got, uh, I've got a little demo wire connected here simulating some device uh, inside your house and it's connected to P6, terminals 2 and 4. So counting from the bottom, one, two, three, four. So two and four is what it's connected to. And this is all laid out for you as well in the installation manual that comes with the units. Shows you all the wiring. Now the interlock is not active unless you put dip switch number four right there. One, two, three, four to the down position. So dip switch number four has to be in a down or the off position in order for this interlock to be, to be on for this controller. So this particular controller is running on speed number two, according to our smartphone interface. I can even put it up to speed number three. And you should see the same if you refresh the iPad interface right there. So if I go ahead and I disconnect these two wires simulating a broken contact or a smoke detector going off, this fan should shut down right away. And if we go look at an interface, there you go. The fan just went to speed zero, shut down, and you get a message disabled by interlock on the interface as well. And the same applies if we refresh our iPad. You can see the same message right there that's uh, disabled by interlock. So this fan is shut down because of the interlock being active. Now, if you want to restart the fan, you have to make sure the contact is closed again. The controller will not restart the fan unless this contact is closed. And then we can go ahead and press speed up to start the fan. We're getting a message right there that says waiting for doors to open. So it's opening a door. So I'm going to put up speed number two. Refresh that one for you. Okay, there you go. So the fan just started to speed two. And we see the same on the iPhone interface right there, speed number two. We can go ahead and turn that up to speed number three. Okay, and that you can see the other interface update right away as well. So just to show you the dip switch operation, if my dip switch is in the on position, meaning the interlock is not being looked at, if I want to go ahead and disconnect those wires, fan would continue to operate. But if we go ahead and put this switch number four down to the off position, there we go. Fan is off, disabled by fan interlock. And that's your fan interlock. Thanks for watching.